In MathCAD, you can perform calculations on vectors by representing them as a matrix with a single column. I had found a web page that showed how to calculate the angle between two vectors, and initially I thought, hey, this might be interesting to do as a MathCAD worksheet, but then given MathCAD's functionality, it turns out to be ridiculously easy. But anyhow, I recommend that you check out the web page that shows these calculations, and I will duplicate one of the examples that they have. And I will calculate the angle between two vectors, and first we'll have the vectors represented as coordinates, and then we will represent the second vector as a start point and an end point. So first off, let me document the basis for this calculation. And it's based on the definition of the dot product. And so A times B. And to document this, I'm going to use a different operator than the definition operator or the evaluation operator. I'm going to use the comparison operator, which is the keyboard shortcut control and the equal sign. This is a great way of showing people the math that you are using. And so the dot product between two vectors is equal to the absolute value of the first vector. And then let me use the cursor key to move over times the absolute value of the second vector. And once again, I will cursor over and that's going to be times the cosine of the angle. And I will represent the angle with the Greek letter alpha. And one way that you can get to that is from the symbols drop down and use this character. But it's also the lowercase a followed by control G. And so let's add some little bit of math formatting. Let me highlight this in a color. Then I will put in some documentation here to explain that this is the definition of a dot product. And so you could go to the math tab and create a text box, or you can just start typing. And when you hit the space bar, it will automatically recognize that this is going to be a text box. So let me type in definition and I'll hit the space bar and it says, oh, wait, you meant this to be a text block. Definition of the dot product. And I know you might be like, hey, you have dot products on the left side and the right side. Again, I'm just trying to communicate some information to people. So now let me write a function for calculating the angle. And I will write the letter alpha. This time I will use lowercase a followed by control G and then open parentheses. And the two different variables that this will operate on will be A and B, A comma B. Then I will use the colon key as the keyboard shortcut for the definition operator. And so this is going to be equal to the arc cosine of basically this divided by this. So let me go to the functions tab and let's go to all functions. Here we have the trigonometric functions. I will double click on a cos in order to paste it into my sheet. And so this is going to be the arc cosine of a times, and for times I just did shift eight on the keyboard, a times b. And then I want to divide all this. So I'm going to use the space bar to highlight a times b. Then I will use the forward slash on my keyboard in order to get, to get divided by. And then we'll have the absolute value of A times the absolute value of B. So let me go to the math tab and then operators. And here we have absolute value. And that is the keyboard shortcut of the pipe symbol on the keyboard. Ah, I'm just going to use the ribbon. So this will be A and then move over and then times Let's do that again, operators, absolute value, and then B. And so here is my function definition. Let's add in a little text box to explain that. Function, definition. And now I can start evaluating. So let's do the function alpha. Let me move over one space. 
A, Control G, and first, oh, let me hit the backspace. Let me use open parentheses, hit the wrong key on the keyboard. And first I'm gonna pass the two vectors to see the angle between them. And so let's use V. And this is actually a subscript what I have here, V1. So the subscript is control minus V1 comma, and then V control minus two. And now I'll hit the equal sign and I get the value of 2.621. In MathCAD, your angles are going to be reported in radians. Let's say I want this to be in degrees. Well, right now my cursor is still in the placeholder for units. I can go to units and find angle. And here we have degree. Here we also have degree. I'm gonna use this one because this is a little bit more obvious. Then click outside and this comes out to 150.189 degrees. That is the correct value. Let's try this again, except instead of passing the V2 vector, I'm going to pass the point to this. So let's do alpha A, control G, and then open parentheses, V, literal subscript, which is control minus one, comma, and then we will pass point P2, which is the endpoint, P, control minus two, minus, 0.1, P, control, minus one. And then we'll do the equals. And here we have the same value. And rather than using the units drop down, uh, drop down list to get degrees, I will just type in degrees manually and then click outside. And there we get the same value. So there you see how you can use the formula for calculating the angle between two vectors. And again, the important thing is you want to represent the vectors as column vectors or a matrix with a single column.